Morning everybody. Hey, good morning ladies. Hey, we're ready to cut the first row. Not quite as fast as what we were yesterday morning during Christmas. Oh, of course it's just there, so he's nice and close. Awesome. Well, let's go get to milking and uh, catch now. Up. Little brown one here, this one. Yep, that was last one. Oh, Chris, how are we doing? Good. Now let her out. <laughs> yes, how the cows come in this morning? Coming good? Go on, girls, up we go. Come on. Come on. They say, better late than never. Doofus, I just arrived. Nah. Nah, I had to go to the throne. And you gotta go, you gotta go. Right, I'm back into it. Good work, Uncle Chris. Go well. Success for milking everybody. Oh, Chris just washing up. Just checking the filter sock. No gunk, no nothing. We're looking good. See all the bits it catches? That's why we use the filter sock, or else those little bits of grass, bits of hair gets into the into the uh, vat. And what happens is you can get a scent spray, which means that um, you've just got too much little bits of hair and things in the vat. And that's why we put filter socks in. And as you see inside the filter sock, it's clean, it's just the outside that's going for it. It's got it, so it's perfect, that's what we want. Chuck on the rubbish bin, and it's us. Alright, go and finish up and lock some cows yeah, away. Get the bucket on water so he washes his arms. Uh, Happy you. He gets grumpy. Yeah, well, he's always grumpy. <laughs> ah, cows don't need washes. Alright, see you, Chris, you have a good day. Z at three. I oh, will go lock cows away and go set up for tonight. I think old Chris already wound up the reel and got it all ready anyway. We just gotta go and uh, set up the trees. There you go, old Chris. Yeah, we are. We're just gonna have a quick drive through, make sure they're all okay. Ah, you can see the float. So small. Well, um, go shift. We'll go shift the fence now. So we don't have to shift them when the cows are coming because there's no way I'll be able to beat them today. They're a bit too close to the cow sheep and the trees, so let's go shift that fence. These girls away. I have no clue what this weed is, but I don't like the look of them. And a pollock. Oh, tell me what this weed is. That'd be mighty helpful. Find out if there's a spray that kills it or something, but don't like the look of them. I've only ever had two, seen two of these grow, both in one was by the reel here, and the second one just there, the one I just pulled now. I don't like them. Chuck them over the fence and give them a chance to die before we graze that bit again. Yes, I don't like the look of them. Okay, let's go shift the fence. I do like their shade. We're just going down. Uh, the plan is this next stand it up here. We're going to go straight across from there. So, matter of shifting that, all those standards, and the end of the reel there. So they're back, and we go to that post under the tree line just there. Okay, there we are all set up. Cows get enough just for a bit of a graze. They got heaps of back graze anyways. Now I am wondering, this is where the energizer, energizer mainly comes down through. Let's test to see what we're doing, volts wise. 4.1. 
as the main lead out for the whole farm. So I would not want to touch that reel. It's, uh, yeah, it's going well, it's going very well. Good day there. I'll see you all at uh, milking the Savo. Well, actually, I'll see you all when we shift the cows under the trees because also it's going to be another hot day. Here we go, here's our docket. What did we send today? 4,632 litres. Good to see the girls come back up. So this is what our um, quality summary comes looks like. If the eyes you found evaluation index, have you feed too much palm kernel or for some people if you have a lot of Jersey cows, they can have a lot of fat and the fat evaluation index tells you uh, they, they were thinking about doing a grade system for it but I think they've pulled out for now and may do it in the future, we'll see what happens. Coliforms, that's at low under 20 mil which coliforms is just to um, that's if there's any build up of bacteria in the vat. Bacto is just bacteria in the vat, and that's good. So coliforms under 20 mils means that we don't have any grades. <laughs> when it starts getting up, that means you've got a uh, build up of milk in the vat. So build up of uh, starting to go rotten milk. So that's how we know that we're keeping our system nice and clean. This is us so far, month to date for December. We're up about 200 solids, which isn't too much. We're actually at about 10 solids a day. And season to date, we're starting to claw it back. We're only 2,200 litres behind last year. 2,200 milk solids behind last year. And how do we give, this is how we've been doing over the last couple of days. Got your temperature, your fat percentage, your protein percentage, and your milk solid percentage. Milk solid percentage works out per litre. Eight point, about 8.6 by look of it. Is, uh, 8.7 is about our average by the looks of it for our percentage. So 4,601 litres times 8.64% is what Dan gets paid on. 397.5 milk solids. So we're going quite well. We're tipping along good. The girls are happy. It's good to see the dockets responding in that way. Afternoon everybody, just shifting the girls now, they're going to go hop underneath some trees, that was a very nice day, we'll leave them to it, we'll go down and just check to make sure that the gates are all closed back in their paddock. Okay, very good girl 181. I'm just checking the fence line at this bit, because... Last girls on their way to their paddock. They're just going around grabbing any thistles. There's a couple there. Right. Just do a final check. Make sure we didn't leave any cows behind in the drains or anything. And we'll go lock these cows away. Now the girls are happy under the trees there. And they're grazing well. We've got quite a bit of grass still left from what they left behind yesterday. And they'll eat it all up nicely. See you all at Morgan tonight. A beautiful afternoon. The cows are here. Nice and close. Very good. I don't want to die. A lot of fun the trees over there. It's good to see they're using it.
Alright, let's get the mug and all switched over to the van. Cooler plates are on. No leaks. Nothing. He's already, let's go get the market. Oh, they're already here. Girls, up we go. Come on. Put some girls in. Come on. Up we go. About there, probably somewhere. Hey, no more, old Chris. How many more? Uh, Hello. Hello, right. That black one would be good. Perfect. Good girl, 66. Chain. Yeah. Chain up. Oh, good one. Well, that. Stop them backing out. Can stop anyone from pushing in too hard. Little well, big girl's gone. You must get in front of this one. Give a meal. Awesome. Well, we'll keep milking now. They're going well. Right on the head of schedule by about 10 minutes. Not bad, not bad going. There he is, Dad's back again. He's just cleaning up the yard. Our old Chris is doing the pit. And I'm just washing the cups, waiting for that last rinse to go through. And we'll put the final bit through. There's a bit of grass in the yard, that's why Dad's got the shovel. So uh, he's just going to clean that all up and chucks it over the fence, away from the stone truck. That's it. Look well, at two brothers. Brother Cook, we'll go lock some cows away. Oh, hey, Jay, Dad. Welcome, subscribe, we'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Don't be late. Awesome, ah, happy ass. All well fed, driving on the line here, looking good. A couple of girls sitting down full. Well, well, it'll be us. I'll see you all when we shift the cows later on. Thank you. That's all right, Rob. We're gonna go. We're gonna go in here and uh, get the cows off this middle here. They've done a good job, but get the cows off. They know where to go. Most of them have actually bedded down for the night. Oh, it's those girls locked away. 